Okay, check this out. Now we're gonna use it. We're gonna use that same move, the parry and hit, cover and hit, and we're gonna get into our grappling techniques, our clinches, our upper body controls, head controls, neck controls, arm controls, okay? So you can get into those off of the parry and hit, off of the parry and hit, cover and hit, off of the cover and hit. And I bet you're wondering how, so let me show you. Okay, so when he punches wide, for example, you see where I'm just gonna grab onto the head. I wanna give him a good knee. Now, you wanna pull him down a little bit so you can get your underhook, see? That's my underhook. And then I can knee, and then I can get takedowns, I can get submissions and all that stuff once I'm in the position, yeah? So if he comes on the other side, and I do my cover and hit into my knee, I wanna pull him down first and then get my underhook, see? Keep them off of you. If he's trying to shoot my legs, notice I have the underhook and I'm keeping his head off of me. So I can start to do my knees here. I can go to town with my knees because I've got the underhook and I've got his face checked. Okay? Now, if he c comes straight, say, he, what if he punches straight? Okay, he punches straight. So I do the same thing. See, when I get my knee, I get my underhook here. And now I can go to town with my knees. I got my underhook. I got his face checked. And I can start to do my knees, okay? If I do it on the other side, that's my parry, cover, and hit. See, but I grab onto his head. I want to give him a knee and get my underhook here. See, once I get him low, that's when I go for my underhook. See, check him here so you can start your knees. So that's off of the parry and hit, cover, and hit, okay? So that's my underhook. Okay, now, if he comes wide, say he comes wide, wham! You see, that's already my overhook. And I figure forward it here, see? So I can start my knees. Okay, if I do my cover and hit here, yeah, you see that? I'm already into my position here. That's my overhook, so I can get my knees, see? Okay? Okay, once again, if he comes wide, and I go like that, look at that now, I'm trapping up this arm, see? <laughs> Let me put him this way. I'm trapping up that arm, so I can get my knee here, see? That's off of a cover and hit, right? He comes wide here, that's my cover and hit, see? That's my overhook. See, and if I want to trap up that arm, it's here. And that's my knee. Once again, he comes with that left wide. He comes with the wide left. So I cover and hit. I trap up that arm. See, check him here. And that's where I start my knees. That's off of a cover and hit. Okay, if he comes straight, then I have what? Parry and hit, cover and hit. So if he comes straight, Parry and hit, cover and hit, see? And now I'm getting my overhook with a figure four. That's my parry and hit, cover and hit, see? And I'm getting my overhook, see? And that's my figure four position, setting up my knees. Okay, if I did that same one, and I go parry and hit, cover and hit, right? And I get my overhook, and I wanna trap up that hand, see? I can do that one too. If he comes here and I go parry and hit, cover and hit, you see that? I, might, I can wait for him to start to punch with that hand sometimes, yeah, so then I trap it up like that, see? And that's my knee. We already learned this. If you've got the killer dirty boxing set, you learned this. If he throws his wide punch and I just go like that, you see I wanna just bring him into that and that. So I'm not gonna hold the grappling position. I'm just gonna use it as a wizard to wrench him into my punch and my punch, see? That's another way to get your overhook, see? If I get my overhook like that, off of the straight arrow, sometimes I bring him into an elbow and a knee like that. If I do it on this side, now I bring him into this elbow, see? And this knee. That's a whizzer off of a cover and hit. Okay, so more grappling stuff. Off of the parry hit, cover and hit. Parry and hit, cover and hit. Other grappling controls, okay? One is neck control, okay? so. If he throws his right cross, notice how I'm gonna parry and hit, and that's my neck control already, see? Puts me in for whatever I want from neck, neck control, okay? If I do it on this side, that's my parry and hit, that's my neck control, see? Can do a two-hand neck control if I want, okay? If I do my parry and hit, and I get my neck control, okay, see, it puts me into a double neck control like that. The third motion controls the neck, see? If I do the same thing on this side, and I get control here, see? Now I can get two-hand control, see? 
Sometimes that guy might be a grappler. So he might go to grab my neck. Yeah, so that's where I grab his neck, see? You see it? He goes to grab my neck on this side. Yeah, I stop his grab and I grab his neck. Okay, so we went off of the inside. We got neck control, right? Okay, we can also go off of the outside and get neck or head control. So lots of these, okay, but, but basically, if he throws his jab, okay, notice how I can use the parry and hit as a, as a control to get control of his head here, see? So I can get my knee or whatever, see? If I do the same thing on the other side, I use that parry to get control of his head so I can do my knee, see? Sometimes when I do it, it'll be more on the top of the head. So I go like that, see? I can grab onto the top of his head to get my knee like that, see? Or I grab onto his hair like that to get my knee like that, see? These are semi-grappling moves because you're controlling the head, see? Okay, now I could come from underneath and get control of his head on the side like that, see? I get the top of his head like that, see? I can come from underneath and grab his hair like that, see? I can do the same types of moves on the outside, see? If he throws the cross. Now, see, I'm here on the side of his head, okay? Or I grab onto his hair right away. Or I grab onto the top of his head, see? I can do the same thing on the outside, over the top of my hand to grab the, the slam dunk or to do the Goldilocks, okay? Or to do the side control of the head, okay? This is on the outside. Different ways to control the head and the neck on the outside. Okay, now, I can use more of the vertical scissors motion to get control of his head, okay? So if crew Nate throws his jab, notice that's the vertical scissors motion. That controls his head, see? It could be any type of a control. I can, I can vertical and then grab his hair if I want. I can do the, other th the thing on this other side. So when I go like that and I control his head, it's like that. If I do my vertical gun thing like that and I can grab the top of his hair like that, see? Okay? Now sometimes what we do is when you do your vertical gun thing like that, you come with an uppercut, but you control it like that. So you just want to tuck his arm in like that so you get your knee like that. If I do it on this side, I get my vertical gun thing. You see my uppercut here? So I want to just knee, knee, tuck his arm in, see? And then knee again because you have all kinds of takedowns and stuff like that from there. Okay, now, when I do my parry and hit, I can hit up the middle and get control of his head, okay? So if he throws his jab, for example, notice how I'm just gonna get control of his head here like that, see? But if he does his jab, sometimes after I hit, I just grab the top of his hair like that, see? These are ways to get head control. Okay, now, if he throws his jab and I go like that, notice how I'm just gonna pull him down a little bit and get this one on, see? I can tuck that in and I'm back into this position here, see? Okay, if I do the split entry here, notice here, I can grab his hair, see, to get into my control like that. Or I can grab the top of his head, like on the other side. Okay, or after I hit him like that, you see I just control, look at my uppercut here. Look at my knee, look at my knee, look at my tuck here. Look at my knee and look at my knee here. And that's obviously, gonna, that can take him down. See, mm. okay, yeah. Okay, have you got it? Okay, these are just some ways to get into different grappling controls from the parry and hit, cover and hit.